Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to Football View. You know it was daily occupying before. Today we're going to talk about as Antico Tokor. Today they face King Faisal and the Ghana Premier League and will be played at Babaya Stadium this evening, 6 p.m. So before we get into it, let's talk about the players, the squad that um, Seydou Zebo has mentioned or that picked for this particular encounter against King Faisal. Now let's talk about the squad. Now goalkeepers, we have Frederick Asari, Poati, Moyes. Christopher Nete is back from injury. Uh, Andrews Kaju Apeu. Sheriff Mohammed Maxwell Ajiman is back from injury. Samuel Apia, Richard Buidu, Enoch Morrison, Justice Blay, Shedra Kado, Rocky Dwamena, Stephen Amankona, Nicholas Mensa, Stephen Mukwala, Serge Eric Zeze, John Tediko, Richmond Lamte, Samuel Boateng, Dixon, Afo Quad. They will be available for selection against King Faso and Sidu Zebra will definitely be selecting players that impressed him very well, you know, in these few days or few weeks that the Ghana Premier League has been on hold. So I'm expecting the best players to start against King Faso tonight. So I think it's going to be a crucial game and we are very glad to see Justice Blay, Maswell Agjiman and some other players back from injury because we know that injury uh, one of injuries are one of the uh, mass specs Kotoko fans don't like when it comes to a Ghana Premier League season because it affects our season once a team is built around certain players and they get injured it's going to affect the team and that is what Kotoko fans always avoid so I'm very pleased to see players back from injury some of them have not fully returned from injury they are still you know minor training and all that I'm expecting them to return to full fitness and help the team so Let's get into the game. Now, King Faisal have had a bad start into the season. You know, sometimes if they have a bad start into the season, they need a win against Kotoko to kickstart their season, to give them the momentum into the season. I hope Kotoko don't give them that feeling or that Kotoko don't be the catalyst that will be um, urging them forward to win other games. So I'm expecting Kotoko to beat them at the Barra Stadium this night. Now, we know how it is. When Kotoko play King Faisal, we know how the atmosphere is, the radio stations, the reporters, the fans, the booing, shouting and all that. I want the boys to remain fully focused because I think Kotoko can beat King Faisal this night and I'm expecting a very, very big win for Kotoko because they can do it. They can do it, yes. Now King Faisal, you know, they have had new players, new team and they are building with new coach, They're always with new coaches and, you know, their style of play is vague and most people want to know how King Faisal actually play. So I'm expecting Zidu Zebo to stick to his principles. If he, the game doesn't come out the way he wants it at halftime, he should make changes, necessary changes to st uh, tactics, personnel and all that to make sure we get that win against King Faisal because we want to see what Kotoko have been doing when the Ghana Premier League is on hold. You know, they've been scoring goals, free scoring in friendly games when the Ghana Premier League was on hold. Now we want to see them in competitive games. Steven Mukwala, players scoring three, two goals, Zeze and all that. We want to see them in competitive games. So I'm expecting Kotoko to go out full force and beat King Faisal. So it's going to be an interesting game. I'm expecting Mukwala to start. I'm expecting Seb Zeze to start. I'm also expecting Richmond Lamptey to start, but I don't know how the coach will do that. It could be Richmond Lamptey in the midfield instead of Enoch Morrison, or it could be Serge Zeze in the center midfield and Richmond Lamptey in front. But I'm expecting to see um, Richmond Lamptey playing deep while Eric Zeze will be in front because he knows how to give the passes and all that. Richmond Lamptey is good with long passes, long shots, and the rest. But I'm expecting an interesting game this night. If you ask me my prediction, scoreline prediction, uh, I'll be giving you, let's say, because I call 3 0 win against King Faisal. So that is my scoreline prediction for this particular game. I hope it happens because we really, really want Kotoko to beat King Faisal so because if they beat Kotoko or whenever they beat Kotoko, they are the loudest, and they make too much noise, and the uh, club owner gets called to radio stations and he will start talking and talking. So we want to go, go out there and beat them and show them who is the boss of the town. We'll go out there and show them who's boss. I'd like to know your predictions. Do you think Kotoko can beat King Faisal convincingly or you think it's going to be a very close game? Put that in comments and tell me what you think. I think that's all for today. If you haven't subscribed to it right now, I hate the notification bell. Till next time, guys. Goodbye.